In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the Android 2 PIM Master to test multiple passive intermod frequencies. We will be using the 700 MHz PIM Master with firmware version 3.83. You will need to load this firmware in order to replicate what this video demonstrates. As you may already know, during a PIM test, the PIM Master will output high power tones at two different frequencies. If any passive intermodulation exists, it will be produced at both a lower and higher frequency location simultaneously. On the 700 MHz band PIM master, you can choose to measure at the frequency location of either the lower or higher IM. On the PIM master screen, the high power transmit tone frequencies are shown as frequency number one and frequency number two. The PIM master will transmit these tones while it measures the amount of power present at the frequency of the low or high IM location. The current IM frequency location setting is also shown on the screen. The current screen shows the frequency defaults for the 700 MHz PIM master. The default IM measurement frequency is currently set to the lower IM frequency location. If you are using the default frequencies and desire to test at both the low and high IM frequency locations, you simply need to calibrate at both the low and high IM frequency locations. To calibrate, first let the PIM master warm up. After the temperature is stabilized, press the shift and then the cal key on the PIM master front panel. Then press start calibration. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the calibration for the low IM location. After the calibration is complete, calibration on is displayed at the lower left of the screen. Next, you will need to switch to the high IM frequency location and perform a second calibration. Press the Freak button, followed by Band Select. Be sure the high option is underlined. Finally, repeat the calibration process. Once both calibrations are complete, calibration on will be indicated at the lower left side of the screen, and you are now able to switch back and forth between the two IM test frequencies without recalibrating. The following video clip demonstrates the PIM master behavior when switching back and forth between the low and high bands. Switching between bands takes approximately 5 seconds. If necessary, you can change the transmit tone frequencies to meet your testing requirements. Any change in either frequency 1 or frequency 2 will require a recalibration. Once those frequencies are changed, moving between low and high IM bands will result in frequency 1 and frequency 2 being reset back to the defaults. Because of this default behavior, it is easiest to save a setup for each frequency configuration you want to test. To create setups for non-default transmit frequencies, first choose the band, high or low, Second, enter your test transmit frequencies, frequency 1 and or frequency 2. Third, perform a calibration. And finally, save the setup file. Let's go through the process. We will start by entering a custom frequency for frequency 1 of 733 MHz. Press the Freak button, followed by the Carrier F1 button. From the keypad, enter 733 and then press the megahertz key. Take notice of the calibration off indicator on the screen. Now we will enter a custom frequency for the frequency 2 of 763 megahertz. Press the Freak button, followed by the Carrier F2 button. From the keypad, enter 763 and then press the megahertz key. With the custom transmit frequencies entered, we can recalibrate. Press the Shift key on the keypad, followed by the Cal key to calibrate. 
Again, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the calibration and verify that calibration on is now displayed. Once the calibration is complete, we will save the setup file. Because calibrations are saved with the setup, saving the setup allows for the setup parameters to be retrieved with the calibration. To save the setup, press the Shift key on the keypad followed by File. Then press the Save button. Be sure to enter a name which reflects the IM location this setup uses. In the Save dialog box, change the file type to Setup. Select the file name and enter your file name. Since this setup is testing the low IM at 703, we will put that in the file name. Now press the Enter key. Using the same process, pause the video and create another setup for the high band. Once created, setup files can be recalled along with their calibrations, allowing you to jump between any number of custom frequencies without having to recalibrate each time. To recall a setup, press Shift and then File on the keypad followed by the Recall button. Simply pick the setup file you wish to use from the dialog box and then press the Enter key on the keypad. You can also add setup files to the shortcut menu. To create a shortcut, open the File Recall dialog, locate the setup you wish to create a shortcut for, and hold your finger on the file name for a few seconds. Then press the shortcut location you wish to use. Once a shortcut is added, press the menu key on the keypad to see your shortcuts. A shortcut can be moved or deleted by holding down on the shortcut. The following video demonstrates what it looks like to switch between setups using the shortcut menu. Well, that concludes our video. We hope it will help you efficiently create and test with custom frequencies. Thank you for watching.